In this video, I'll be talking about how to expand a logarithm. Typical instructions will say something like this. It'll say, use the properties of logarithms to expand the expression as a sum, difference, and or constant multiple of logarithms. And so they'll give you a problem like log base 4 of 5x cubed y. And what they're really asking you to do is to use the product property, the power property, and the quotient property in order to write this as multiple logs that are added or subtracted or whatever. And so what I know is this. First of all, everything that I do in this equation, in this first example, is going to be log base 4. I'm going to reuse log base 4 all the time for all of these. And what I know I have is this. I'm taking the logarithm of all those things, and really that's 5 times x cubed times y. So maybe it would help me then to rewrite that as 5 times x cubed times y. Not necessary, but it helps me see what I'm going to do next. See, the product property says if I have a product here, if I'm multiplying these terms together, I can really just add them as separate logarithms. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base 4 of 5 plus log base 4 of x cubed plus log base 4 of y. And I'm almost done, but I'm not quite to the simplest form yet. You see, I see this x cubed here. And I know that the power property says that I can take this 3 and I can drop it down in front. And so my final answer is going to be log base 4 of 5 plus, and I take this 3 and I write it out in front three times, the log base 4 of x plus log base 4 of y. And that's going to be my final solution. I just expanded it. This is going to help us later on when it comes to solving problems, this, this idea that I can rewrite a logarithm as separate logarithms. The second one is a little bit different, a little bit tougher because it involves a square root. That sometimes confuses us, and it involves division. And so if you remember the quotient property, you know that this division problem can become a subtraction problem. I can rewrite it as a subtraction thing. So I'm going to start off by doing that. I can say that this is the logarithm of the square root of 4x plus 1 minus the natural log of 8. Now, I've got a square root, so I'm not quite done yet. I want to, I want to change this around a little bit if I can. You see, the square root of anything is actually the same thing as raising it to the 1 half power. So I can rewrite this as the natural log of 4x plus 1 to the 1 half power minus the natural log of 8. I can do that. Okay? And now that I see that I have a 1 half power here, I know from the power rule, the same thing I did with the 3 over here, I'm going to take this 1 half, I'm going to drop it down in front, so I end up with 1 half times the natural logarithm of 4x plus 1 minus the natural log of 8. And that's my final answer. This confuses a lot of people because I see this, and a lot of people will want to try to break that down even further. Do not make the common mistake of saying this. 1 half natural log of 4x plus 1 half natural log of 1 minus natural log of 8. You can't do that. You can't do that. This does not work. Because this expanding into two separate logarithms only works if I'm multiplying things together. See, over here, it wasn't 5 plus x cubed. It was 5 times x cubed. This isn't 4x times 1, it's 4x plus 1. And I can't do anything with that. That's actually as simple as it gets. So do not make this mistake. Other mistakes that you want to avoid. It's awesome. It's not, it's not unusual for people to do something like this. If I have the natural log of 3x squared, they'll see this x squared and they'll say, okay, well, that equals 2 times the natural log of 3x. And that's not correct. See, the mistake that we made is this. You actually have 3x squared, and you can see that it's 3 times x squared. You're not squaring the 3. You're only squaring the x. So really, it's not this, but it's the natural log of 3 plus 2 times the natural log of x. Right? You see how I took that x squared, by the way, and I moved the 2 down in front? I just did that in one step. Those are two separate things there. If I wanted to have both terms squared, I would do something like this instead. Maybe you give you the equation, um, natural log of 3x and the whole thing, the whole 3x, is squared. Now if they give you that, then I can go through and I can say, now I'm going to move that down. That's 2 times the natural log of 3x. And I could even break that apart if I wanted to, because that 3x is a, is a product, 3 times x. I could say 2 natural log of 3 plus 2 natural log of x, right? And so that would be the simplest form for this equation. 
but I just want you to keep that in mind. Do not make the common mistake of thinking the whole thing up here is squared. It's only the x, and that will help you solve a lot of problems.